Podcast. Hey everybody and welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. This will be a quick video showing you how to remediate the uh, vulnerability that is known as RC4 Cypher Suite supported um, bar mitzvah. And what, what this means is that you're actually, you, are, uh, you have enabled this Cypher Suite, which is a deprecated protocol that has numerous vulnerabilities, which is a no-no. So if you happen to have this one on your, um, your older servers and you have a vulnerability scan ran, you're gonna get flagged for this. So maybe you've already been flagged. Um, what I'm gonna show you is two ways to resolve this. Uh, one super easy, one very easy, but a little more uh, involved. We'll go to the longer one first. And what you're gonna do is you would actually go to the red registry and I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna show you the way I prefer to do things. But if you wanted to manually do this because you don't trust software, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, you could, you could do it all on your own. You would just go to, you know, regedit, run it as admin, go to local machine system, go current control set, control security, providers, S channel ciphers. And then you click and create a new D word, 32 um, bit value, and you'd go through and create a key for uh, the different RC4 ciphers. That would be the long way to do that. And I will throw this in the um, description for those of you that want to do it that way. But for those of you that prefer a more simple way um, and the preferred way um, by a lot of IT professionals, you would use a tool called IIS Crypto to do this. And it is an amazing tool that allows you to enable and disable protocols, ciphers and hashes uh, with literally click, 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 boom, apply, reboot, and it makes all the registry changes for you. Um, and this is widely used, totally legit software. Google it, do a lot of research on it if you want. Um, very good company. So how to use this, you simply go to this URL, download it, click the GUI. When it's done, pops right up. First time you run it, it will say, do you want to da 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 but there's not an installer. It just runs, it doesn't install any software. It's just an executable that brings up this program. And when it brings it up the first time, depending on your situation, you may have a lot of uh, things like you probably are, if, if your system's showing RC4, you're probably gonna have TLS 1 and 1.1 showing here. You'll wanna get rid of those too. But the quickest way to make sure you're kind of uh, up to par would be to click best practices, hit okay. And then for some reason, it's still allowing um, TLS 1 and 1.1 to be enabled. I would unselect those two and then hit apply and this is going to be your best practices for all of the uh, protocols you're going to want enabled uh, we only leave the client protocols enabled just in case you need to you know connect to a legacy um, system using those protocols otherwise you would just uncheck all these hit apply you could check the reboot and it would automatically reboot i don't want to reboot for the video but you could you would go ahead and reboot and you're done it would enter all the registry keys. Next time you get that vulnerability scan ran against you, you're gonna show up clean. So that's all there is to it. Pretty basic. Again, I'll throw all this stuff in the um, description. If you have any questions or whatever, I'll leave them in the comments. Um, other than that, if you've enjoyed this video and you want uh, future videos uh, or notifications of future videos, hit that subscribe button, you know, smash the like, hit the subscribe, turn on the notifications uh, because I'm gonna try to focus a little bit more on uh, remediation techniques for some of the vulnerabilities I've seen over the years that I know people are still experiencing based on the volume of um, traffic I'm getting for some of the other remediations I put up here. So again, subscribe, hit that like button and have a great rest of your day. Thank you much.